Welcome to day three of the four days of farm projects video series that I'm doing. I won't be filming much outside today, not because it's not a beautiful day weather wise, the sun is out and it's fairly warm, but the wind is blowing very hard. And um, so, you know, the sound won't be any good. But I did wanna show you that I did get one feeder moved and some gates changed. And I did move that by myself. I was able to just drag it across to there. And real quickly, if the wind isn't too strong here, I did get these gates all set and the posts driven. And I also wanted you to notice if you watched the first video where there was still snow covering this hill, it's all gone now. And it's quite dry. That's one thing the wind is good for. And I'm planning to do a little job with the horses today. If that all works out, I'll, I'll bring you along for that. Now let's get in out of the wind. Having to make a decision today on day three of what jobs we want to get done. Now they're forecasting rain tomorrow, which we can do work, but we'll try to get the outside jobs done. But I did have to come over here to the barn and get a, a the wagon cleaned off. Got a couple of gates that I want to haul back to the farmhouse, and then we're going to haul some, load some hay up and bring over here to this barn. So that's the job that we're doing right now. And when I explain why we're doing it at the end of the day, when it's done, hopefully, it'll make sense to you. Still a little bit of snow in the shadow of the big barn. Handsome boys. Well, I did manage to get the coats off of these guys I think I mentioned I checked their feet, which seemed fine. Oh, it just breaks my heart to take the coats off. <laughs> Already they've got straw from laying in the in the straw here. But I don't like to leave coats on the rams at breeding season. They probably are fine, but um, especially these guys, it's their first breeding season. And you know, they, that restricts them a little bit across the shoulders. And so I don't really like to do that. Um, someone asked if we have coats on the sheep to keep them warm. And that's a question we get asked quite often. And the answer is no, it's not to keep them warm. It's to keep their fleeces clean. My main um, market for sheep product is the wool for hand spinners. And yes, it can be clean without having coats on, but I just find it a, is a lot less work for me and a lot less work for my customers to have a nice, as clean as possible fleece. Like, look, I just took the coats off like an hour ago. And look. And they have a hay feeder. I don't throw hay over their backs. But, so here's Truman. And here's Trace. I don't know that they know that their big day is coming maybe tomorrow. Right, guys? You do know, huh? Do you know? <laughs> You're handsome boys. Handsome boys. So that was one job that did get accomplished today. There's Bailey visiting with the sheep. She's pretty good. She doesn't chase them. Shetlands don't really care for the dog that much. There's Temperance, Tomoa, Okafi, and who's back there? Susan, who doesn't have a coat. I also got started on pitching the manure and um, had a lot of company today. So kind of some stops and starts. So I want to get back to doing that. Got got that stall pretty much cleaned out. So then it's just this part here. I may try to do that. It's really, really windy, but we have a 70% chance of rain tomorrow morning. So I think I will get back to that. So what I actually did is made more work for myself, but I did get some jobs done. Before I go in tonight, I've got one more post to drive here. This is some things I'm not going to use that 
can go back over to the other barn. I might keep the gate here because you never know when you might need a gate. I'm going to swing over here and you can see Kyle. And that's one job that did get done today. And that's the farmer who bought our field is back there working in the field. But let me go up out of the wind and talk to you about the horses. We did get some hay moved. Got to move probably another 25 bales, maybe 30. And the reason that Kyle is whinnying is because um, my daughter did take her horse, the mare, back over to her place. They've been together this summer and it's hard to have a horse be by itself. They're herd animals. Although these guys have been by themselves for a couple of winters and they do okay. We tend to put them together in the warm weather when there's a lot of pasture. I was going to try to keep them both here this winter, but just that brief spell of weather that we had, the amount of, we have a water heated water tank, but the amount I had to keep filling, the hay that I had to carry, the fact that she is a real pain with coming in and out of the barn and letting him in the barn, unless I wanted to catch them each and bring them in and out of a box stall, which I don't want to do. And also, I just don't have a lot of bedding. So we had cleaned the box stall over at my daughter's house. Um, it just The fence just needed a little bit of repair. And so uh, we took her horse back over to her house, which is at the other farm, the big barn, the Burnham farm. And so the horse is over there now. The only thing that made it a little bit more work is that we she had bought hay for her horse and we'd put it in this barn. And that was what a big stack of hay was here. So, um, and we can take it a pickup load at a time, but if we get a lot of snow, it gets kind of hard to get it over to the barn. So I thought if we took some over on the wagon and just left it parked in the barn, we'd be all set. So that was one job that did get accomplished today. And here's somebody who just got in trouble. Look at, she looks the other way because she's been digging in the yard when she's not supposed to, right? Look at that dirty nose. Then you make holes and mom trips in them. I'll have to go into a home and so will you. So don't dig in the ground, okay?